Today we are continuing our journey on this weird but really cool hardcore world. If you have not seen the first 50 days, I will give you a quick overview of what happened. This is basically how the entire world looks like. No trees, villages or friendly mobs spawn here. I was able to use ruined portals to get to the nether and get some basic tools. Then I started constructing my base, did some minecrafty stuff, built an enchanting table and a nether portal, did some more minecrafting. And here we are with full diamond gear on day 51. You guys just really enjoyed the first one, so why not make part 2? Basically I have two goals for um, this video. The first goal was to defeat Ender Dragon and free the End Dimension from her reign. The second one was to get a beacon and for that we had to kill a Wither. So firstly, I definitely do want to do some enchanting. Yes, I really want that. And secondly, I, uh, I'm not sure if I should upgrade to netherite gear. I guess we should go for that. And secondly, we need eyes of Enders. Oh, and we need to make a bridge, obviously. So I went to the nether to get some quick XP by mining the quartz. God sounds so sad when he died. Am I the only one? I also found some gold and when I got back, it was already day 52. Look at that. That's what we needed, guys. Okay, and then we're gonna take all this gold, it's not that much, trade with the piglins for both ender pearls and potion of fire resistance. Why do we need that you ask? Because we're going mining for netherite. The nether is basically my second home at this point, so I searched for some piglins, tried to lure this guy into my trap, but uh, my boy, there's gold for you. No. Accidentally hit him, and soon after I had to go find some other piglins to trade with. I think I was planned. But eventually I got two piglins who were in love with my gold. And five minutes later, I got my treasures. We got a soul speed three boot, we got a lot of fire resistance potions, we got some leather, good for item frames. Got quite some arrows as well. I do think we're going to need some more. 53. This storage system is not handling it at this point. Then it was time to go get netherite gear. So I made a fresh new diamond pickaxe, got lucky with the enchantments, and I was going to mine for ancient debris until it would break, and then we would return home. But first, I plopped some item frames on the chest, and got some more bread. Gotta get this... How haven't I done this one? Like, literally. Really weird indeed. But after expanding the wheat farm, I went to the nether for the third time this video. Start for a way down to level 15, which was kind of hard as well. Yeah, this... Wasn't exactly what I was looking for. Oh, there's a blaze. Because, you know, lava. <sighs> but in the end, there we were. Mining for ancient debris. But yeah, I realize this is pretty boring. So I'm just going to mine. Hopefully don't die. Because that's the thing. Hopefully getting some ancient debris. We're gonna take the gold. That's some weird block action. I'm not going into a bizarre biome. Disgusting. That ain't cool. Yes. Look at that, a two vein as well. Rule number one, always check. Ooh. This is exactly the reason why you look around, guys. Hmm. But yeah, it was going pretty well on the netherite front, and in just a few days' time, we had mined 16 debris and quite some gold as well. Okay. Okay. That was, uh, random. And after some more pickaxe action, we needed one more ancient debris, but my pickaxe was about to break. Then this happens. Are you? How is that possible? The pickaxe breaks, and we found the last one. Now we had enough debris for 5 ingots, and I thought that would do it for now. I mined back up to the surface, 
somewhere I have no clue where I am. <laughs> Found a ruined portal, stole the gold block, because why not? And then I had a confrontation with this rider. I know, but I don't have a saddle for you. But I had no choice but to bridge over this lava. I don't know what you guys were doing, but I'm just going to continue, yeah. And when I arrived to the other side, I decided to trade the gold I had found with the piglins. But I first had to find them. Use this epic vine thingy. These piglins are never here when you want them to be here. No, 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 no. I may also have traumatized this one for life. Uh, we do need like half a stack for our ancient debris. Ooh, and pearls. This guy is the reason you always have a fire resistant potions on you. Also, funny, they do like them gold so they come back, but they are really scared of the pigments so they run away. We don't care. And you know, we, we, we got quite some stuff. And so, after our successful but also very dangerous nether trip, I returned home and chucked the debris in a furnace. Cool moments incoming. On day 58, I mixed the scrap with gold, and there they were. Five beautiful netherite ingots. But now the hard part. Which items were we going to upgrade? Might also have crafted new diamond boots, got feather falling on it, because that's a really good enchantment. And I did merge those. And I ended up upgrading one pickaxe and my entire armor set to netherite. Looks pretty sick as well. You gotta admit that. And that's literally what I did the entire day. I like it. And then I was going to build a bridge and make an epic time lapse, but uh, nope, it crashed. So here we are on day 61 with a finished bridge. Oh yeah, that, that looks kind of cute. I mean, we, we didn't really have a choice what wood type we're gonna use, you know, but I think it turned out pretty, pretty nice. It's fun, like how things come together. Right now, I just want to go preparing for the Ender Dragon fight. I feel like we already might not have enough arrows, though. That's like one concern I have. But then I remembered we had located a skeleton spawner. And I decided to make a skeleton grinder for arrows. So I gathered up all the items, slept in my bed, got some more bread, and we were ready to go. It's gonna be a long walk. But as I was vibing in my boat, I noticed that I was not alone. These Pelagiers had intruded my lands. Hold up! They want to fight or fight? Yeah. And with my new banner trophy, I travel to the spawner coordinates and duck down. I guess we're just gonna make uh, this grinder. Enjoy the time lapse. No. So the exact same thing happened again. The time lapse mod crashed, so you can just imagine me building a skeleton grinder right here. It was surprisingly hard without kelp, so I had to manually place down every single water bucket. But on day 64, I was finished and I broke the last blocks, removed the torches, and it still didn't work because I forgot one single torch. But after I broke that one, skeletons started coming in. But yeah, I, I guess we're just going to be here for uh, quite some time. I will see you guys in a little bit. I mean, that's really close. And a little bit turned out to be four Minecraft days because on day 68, I figured we had enough because I think we got plenty of arrows now and also quite some bones. When I got back to the surface, I made a pillar so I would easily be able to locate the spawner. This is just to flex. I traveled back home on day 69 and walked over my beautiful bridge. And a better. That's a decent place. I think we're just going to get some more food. Then we are going to craft up the ice of Ender and going to defeat the Ender Dragon. Okay guys, um, small announcement, I am currently recording with a new microphone, I hope it sounds good, so yeah, that's why I may sound a little different. But besides from that, it is time we defeat the Ender Dragon, we all know it. And so I started preparing for the Ender Dragon fight. I crafted some Eyes of Ender, made 3 strength potions, and since I really did not want to wait 3 full days for some phantom membranes to craft potions of slow falling, I decided to go to the nether to get more Ender pearls. And we might also get a gauze tier for potions of regeneration. And he dropped the boots. Yeah, we don't we don't want that. I do love my netherite armor. Seven. And I hear a gauze. I think he dropped it. Oh no. Hello there.
So instead of the slow falling potions, we now have ender pearls, which I think are even more useful. So, and then we had a good night rest, dreaming about defeating the ender dragon in the most awesome way possible. But there was one more thing left to do, gathering enough bread for the fight. And so on day 71, I made an automatic bone meal dispenser to speed up this process. Uh, yes, this is what I did for the rest of day 71 and also a part of day 72. I think that is enough for this fight at least. And we got a lot of seeds from this. Not sure what spectral arrows do to be honest. Stupid! And after some final preparations, we were ready. Let, let's just do this guys. We're gonna take this with us. Then we're going to locate the strongholds. I threw my first ender pearl, uh, eye of ender and went into that direction. I traveled through the deserted world all alone, knowing I was the only one that could free this world from the ender dragon. I still really like how the terrain looks. Going to be honest, it's, look at it. Of course, we're gonna try and get an elytra, I mean. I finally located the stronghold, knocked down, and indeed, there it was. Oh, I always hate the stronghold so much, you have no idea. This leads to nowhere. It took me quite a while to locate the actual portal, but eventually I found it. I put in the eyes of Ender, realized we were one short, and boom, there it was. The gateway to the end dimension. I did a final check and jumped in. Okay, this is a pretty interesting one. Okay, now the rest is unguarded basically. After I took out the caged end crystals and the lowest towers, I realized I had to tower up to reach the other ones. This, however, was very risky. Luckily, nothing happened and I was able to destroy all the crystals fairly quickly. It was time to kill the dragon. I did most of the work with my bow because she did not like being in the middle. And we might not have needed this much arrows. But we slowly chipped away our health. One more hit. Like a cool way we can kill her. I guess bonk to the head is the best way, right? That's a nice one. Nice way to kill her. Now I am afraid that if we enter this portal, we are going to end up at spawn. But that problem was for another time. Because right now, I wanted to find an end city with an elytra. And yes, I almost forgot the egg. So I entered this end gate and was hoping we would be somewhat lucky. Why do we spawn here? This is the worst, worst spawn ever. This was a really bad start to our quest for an end city. So I bridged out of this place, threw an ender pearl, and I was actually terrified it would fall into the void. Pissed off some endermen, but my water saved me, and then we finally saw one a few hundred blocks away. Ooh, and it's one with an end ship. Ah, no, 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 no! Where is that freaking ship? So I gathered up some more end stone to tower up and to claim my beautiful wings. I mean, what's a duck without its wings? I killed the last sugar guard, and there it was. I got it out of the item frame, equipped it. <gasps> Diamond! And we got them diamonds. I mean, we, we don't really need it, but I guess we are going to take it. Feels good. Bruh. Anyways, I wanted to get some sugar shells as well. So, um, I had to kill some, uh, some, some sugars. Ooh. I didn't get a dragon head, did I? Let's be fair, we, we gotta have the, the dragon head. Let's make sure it doesn't fall off. Yes. I, I, I think we did it, guys. We got an elytra, we got a dragon head, got some shocker shells. I think we accomplished our first goal. Then it was time to return home. I was able to spot an end gate and was able to glide towards it with my new wings. I had to go on Enderman to get through it and um, boom. And yes, I missed the easiest throw ever. Don't judge. <laughs> when I jumped into the end portal, the credits started playing and my fear became a reality. We spawned really close to zero zero. This meant we had to travel around 6,000 blocks to get back to my base. Definitely not the most fun thing to do. I guess I'll see you guys in a little bit when I'm back at my home. And thus I traveled for one and a half days until I saw my beautiful base. It really stands out in this grey and boring world. I was happy to be back and my first goal was completed. Now the rest of the day I spent using my XP to get some better enchantments on my gear. With 22 days left, it was time to focus on getting a beacon. <clears throat> you guys see that? There's a llama, but there's not a villager. 
There he is, wow. Are you- I don't think we have emeralds though, but this is the way to get saplings. Anyways, we have one more thing to do, and that is getting a beacon. I think, first off, we're just going to gather up three skulls. So I hopped into the nether on day 79, and realized I forgot fire resistance potions. That's like a big no-no in hardcore. So I really quickly went back, loaded them potions in my inventory, and um, got some crazy ideas. You know how actually tempting it is to just jump in here? Then I went to the big fortress high up in the sky, hoping it would give me some good spawn rates. That does seem like a good place, so... And after killing some skeletons, um, nope. They must be spawning somewhere, I have just no clue where. I really am not finding any wither skeletons. I think it's time we find another one. And that's, uh, easier said than done, I realized that as well. And so here's what we did. We made our way back to the overworld. Hey there, how are you doing? You like my base? Yeah. Crafted up some rockets, and I then really wanted to get looting on my sword. Looting would increase the drop rates of the skulls by quite a bit, so I was willing yes. to waste some XP on this. Please. Looting, looting, looting. Yes, yes. Okay. <clears throat> Now sadly, we did not have the 30 levels we needed, so I went to the nether, mined some quartz, and on day 81 I was able to enchant a diamond sword with loading too. Which I then combined with my smite sword. Smite, loading, and unbreaking. Perfect. Awesome. Okay. Now we're going to try and find a new fortress. We have very limited durability, but hey. Of course, we, we can't leave. Oh, do we have a settle? No. Basically free transportation right here, but no. Nope. Is that a fortress already? Ooh. It seems to be a good one as well. And you guys can all guess what followed. The boring and hard grind for wither skeletons. Not only that, but I made some pigment mad as well. I made some pigment mad, dude. Would not recommend. Don't do it. On day 82, I got my very first skull. Which I was quite happy with. Yes, that's the first one. Second one, however, uh, took just a little bit longer. And when I say just, I mean just a very, very, very little bit. <sighs> We're still on one and it's 83, day 83 already. I thought this fortress was good, but they just stopped spawning for some reason. And can I just say that the blazes and the normal skeletons are so annoying. Yeah, and we ran out of arrows as well. So I went back to the overworld, got some extra arrows, but when I wanted to go back, um, yeah. I didn't even notice, but okay, that's freaky, why is that a thing? The portal just decided to replace itself, I don't know. Maybe someone knows why that happens? If you do, let me know in the comments. But anyways, the grind continued. Why are there zombies here? Dude, I've killed so many skeletons already, it's insane. And it was not till day 84 that I got my second skull. But finally, we got our second skull, dude. That took way too long for more to go, I guess. That's number three. And so, we were able to spawn in the Wither. The easiest way to kill him is underground in a strip mine. And so, that is what I did. Okay, we got our bow, we got our arrows. Gonna drink the strength potion. But really, the Wither fight is just pathetic. It's weird that gathering up the three skulls is harder and way more dangerous than killing the Wither itself. But hey, we got the star. On our way back, I mined some iron and boom, our beacon was ready. Well then, here we are yet again. Basically, the only thing left is that we just make the base of the beacon. So what I basically wanted to do is like make the first layer of gold, second of iron, third of gold, and the last one of iron again. And we might even make that of diamond if we have enough. Or did I just call that silver? I did. Stupid! Okay, well, I did the mats and we basically need 
954 iron ingots and basically 522 gold. That's uh, quite a lot, I am fully, fully aware of that. So I harvested some wheat, crafted enough bread to last a while and went down into the mines on day 86. It's mining time, isn't it? And it's going to be quite a long time. But that's fine guys. I decided to first mine until we had enough iron and then we would go to the nether to obtain the remaining gold. I just hope something interesting happens and else I'm just going to skip most of this boring stuff. Yeah, I'm even happier with that than diamonds. You just have to say that you're the gold is quite rare but in the nether it's way easier to find so. Told you we would find diamonds. Just because we don't want it, we do. Of course, diamonds. We aren't looking for them. You, you, you really can't take this serious. You can't take this this stuff seriously. When you are not looking for diamonds, you find plenty of them. And when you want them, nope. I don't know what that is. Minecraft was probably just trolling me at this point. But yeah, on day 87, nothing really interesting happened. I just trip mined until I found a cave and then I went through it searching for that juicy iron and gold. Oh, and I enabled audio subtitles because, you know, I was vibing to music. <laughs> he just shot him in my face. That ain't cool. If you just keep finding this, you know, then we're good. I think I'm just going to take a little break, but we got quite some stuff. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now on day 88 we had around half the iron we would need, which was way quicker than I expected. And obviously I found some diamonds. Very pro tip, if you are looking for diamonds, don't actually look for diamonds and you will find them way quicker. It works, okay, 100%. Guys, have you ever seen this large of a cave? I have not. But hey, we're making serious progress. Look at how many iron there is sometimes. Much, actually. Much iron. Not many. Bad English. Vibing bet. I gotta appreciate that, you know. We are uh, basically there. We're going for 13 stacks just to be sure and maybe get a little less gold. So many creepers. I hear Enderman. We let him live today, only today. A gold and diamond. Wow, a gold and iron vein in it. In that you, um, you we needed a bit over a stack of iron more, and we would be done. So on day 90, I switched pickaxes because I did not want my netherite one to break and got the final few iron ore. And really, you never get used to almost getting blown up by creepers. <sighs> uh, I hate those. <sighs> or getting poisoned by a witch. Yep, okay, well, that that's it then. For the iron part, we're going to the surface. We had not seen daylight in a long time, so I was quite happy to be done with the task on day 91. I killed some creepers as revenge, and I walked back home. I don't think I've ever mined so much iron in one session. I don't know if these furnaces are going to be enough. They definitely weren't. So I placed down some more furnaces and crafted my diamonds into blocks. My idea was to make the top layer of the beacon out of diamonds, but uh... However, we can use four diamond blocks for like the corners of the top layer. But yeah, then we basically have one more thing left to do and that is going to the nether. I'm still confused by this, honestly. And so we went to the nether and stole the gold from the piglins. They get so mad for some reason if you mine their gold. Fun fact, it is more stonks to mine nether gold or with a fortune 3 pickaxe than to mine it with a silk touch one. On average, you get like 1.5 to double the amount of gold. The more you know. With my elytra I flew to a place I had not been before and got to mining. Yeah, that happens. They kind of mad when you take their gold. Just simply mining. I mean, what, what else did you expect? And so we spent the next few days wandering around in the nether. Catching in gold, killing piglins, and yeah, I also almost jumped into the lava. I'm imagining, you know, how hard Minecraft actually would be without coordinates. Like, I would be lost right now. I mean, that's maybe because I'm not paying attention that much, because I know I can use my coordinates. At the end of day 92, I figured I had enough, so we went back. I think this is fine. Might not be, but I'm just gonna say it is. Can you actually put a beacon in the nether? 
We should have enough now, enough materials. I kind of just want to make it right in the middle. I think we're done. Okay, let's get all the iron then. The last one. Look how insanely much iron we have. Well, I guess we're gonna build a beacon with these blocks, huh? And yes, we did. Now, since it was my very last project I would do for this video, and it might even be the last one in this world, I wanted it to look good. This is what I made. I thought them green trees would look good, but uh, nope, they didn't. But to be honest, I am pretty proud of my creation. I got to drop on the board and the cunning to find it. You have seen the time lapse, I have not, but I've worked quite long on this and I am definitely happy with this. And there is the beacon somewhere. Would be cool if we did this on day 100, but hey, it's fine. Can we take the beacon? That's quite cool guys, and look how insane look this is going to be the thumbnail I'm telling you. Now of course we need to give ourselves some power with diamonds, obviously. They still works right. Now we uh, do our very short flight. It brings the world together. I could give you a very short world tour, but I guess I guess you guys it kind of fits in one 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 frame, you know. But I worked for this, 100 days, okay? We slept in this deserted world for the very last time, and when we woke up, it was day 100. Now I simply want to say that this was a crazy short series, and I'm insanely thankful for the support on the first episode. This world was really cool to play in, it challenged my survival skills, and I am so happy we were able to finish my two goals I had set for the series, beating the ender dragon and making a full beacon. I never thought we would make it so far, but we pushed through and we did it. Now I am having quite a lot of fun making these big videos that take a week or more to make and it seems like you guys like them more as well so I guess I will just continue making them. And if you have a similar idea like this let me know in the comments. Who knows? Next video might be your idea. I wish you guys an amazing morning, afternoon, evening, night. I, I don't know where you guys all live. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. <laughs> Anur, Anur, Adina, La Aman, Ujina, Maulana, Ehdina, Anur.